Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, I've got another video where I wanna talk about the Master Duel ban list. It's, it's, it's still kind of an anomaly to me. It, the game is like literally, what, this is the second day and it's kind of earlier in the day. Uh, so okay, the, the game's like a day and a half old. Um, but the, the ban list situation still perplexes me. We've got an individual ban list that is like different. By the way, somebody was telling, was trying to tell me in the comments uh, that this is like an old OCG ban list, but when I looked back, uh, Calamities and Mystic Mind got banned on the same ban list and have, have been banned ever since. So there's never been a time where one was legal and one wasn't, which is the case for the ban list right now. So I don't know where that information came from. I looked through and I didn't see any consistencies uh, with, with an old past ban list from the OCG. But uh, yeah, just weird. But anyway, we've got some degenerate stuff. The ban list has a lot of stuff off that like is kind of makes you go, mm, okay, okay. Take it easy now. So we're going to be going through a bunch of the stuff that I've noted already just very early on uh, with the game's release. And uh, yeah, we'll just be doing a quick discussion. I want to hear the guys' thoughts down below as well. What you want to see, do you want to keep this this like format so much more diverse uh, than like the other two? Because like eventually, if we're just have the same mindset in OCG, TCG, and here, the ban lists will slowly start to mess together because they won't, there just won't be huge differences because everybody's gonna agree that like, this card's probably the problem. This card probably needs to go. And at some point it's not subjective for certain cards and, and the ban list does get close to being similar everywhere. But just some still, it's just fun to talk about. I'm not saying we need to have the exact same ban list in all of our formats, but it's just worth noting. Okay, uh, one more thing to note before we uh, move on here is uh, your your PvP duels in this game are one duel. There's no, there's not sets. It's not best of three. And so without side decking, that becomes a huge factor in a lot of things. Yu-Gi-Oh! feels like one of those games where like side decking is like really important. So interesting decision that there, there's no side decking there. And that makes it so a lot of these cards like you just can't you don't have counters in your side to be like okay it's this matchup now i can pull this in because against every other matchup it's like not good so that's another thing to know but let's get into it i don't want to waste any more time talking here first and foremost obviously max c needs to be brought up this card is now 100 percent legal in the format very interesting to see everybody's going to be playing three of this card for the first couple months unless the format specifically don't uh you know dictates that you don't need to uh, it's crazy. I mean, obviously, it's it's a good card. Obviously, um, the only thing like, I, and this is the main concern with with anything is like, oh, if this card's in the format and everybody's playing it, it means like a whole section of deck is like almost off limits because you just auto lose to this card. You have to pass, otherwise you're gonna give your opponent twenty draws and they will have any and every card to be able to handle your cheeks with, and that sucks. Um, uh, the other thing is like deck building. If if this card is legal, Ash isn't the staple hand trap anymore. And Ash has been feeling weak as of late anyway in the format, but uh, now this is gonna be in every deck and it takes away some of that creativity of deck building because you're like, I gotta play Maxi, it's too good not to, and I don't wanna lose because my opponent's playing Maxi and I'm not kind of mentality. So definitely a tough one, but yeah. Next up is Lunalite Tiger. This is a specific deck one. It's one deck that becomes like kind of crazy with this card legal. Even at one, this card actually facilitates some, some pretty crazy stuff, but at three, bro, bro, this card at three is nuts, is nuts. Um, yeah, um, honestly, it's just that one Lunalite deck, but it is definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, their combos are crazy. This card is not once per turn. If this card is hard once per turn on either of its effects, like it'd be so, so much worse, but uh, like, and it'd be tolerable. You know what I mean? It'd still be decent at facilitating their like rank four plays, but not like broken. <sighs> Alas, you know, Lunar Light Tiger. It's, it's good. Uh, we just got to keep an eye on how busted that deck is because the last time it was really good was like two years ago. So, yeah. Next up is Danger Jackalope. And not just Danger Jackalope specifically. I want to note that this is all dangers. Um, uh, the only hit to dangers, period, in Master Duel is Jackalope 2. All the rest of them are fully fine. I don't think this will be a huge problem. This is something a lot of TCG players have been asking for. Like, the dangers aren't overly busted anymore. Like, it's not like they're not, like, pushing through a Thunder Dragon deck to get them to, like, all their pieces and stuff in Grave is floating. 
it's it's not really that and there's the the rng pad, like version of it where if your opponent hits the right stuff it, it hurts you more than it helps you so i think this is fine but something to note like oh dangerous fully unbanned or almost fully unbanned is like kind of something to note next up is fairy tale snow this goes hand in hand with grass so we'll go ahead and talk about these at the same time uh both these being unbanned is crazy i'm even seeing snow played i watched i saw a duel from farfa who was streaming yesterday he was using just snow as a one-off to send off of beatrice in uh in obviously uh burning abyss and so like literally any deck that can make Beatrice or any deck that can mill or any deck that gives you a foolish burial, that plays curious, whatever, snow is crazy. And grass is the craziest of them all because all you need to do is get snow and grave at any point and like you're cracked because if you resolve the grass, you're gonna have 20 cards in grave. And plus you're probably playing engine cards in your deck anyway that um, wanna be engraved. And I believe that grass also got hit for us maybe before Thunder Dragons came out because all of Thunder Dragons trigger a, a plus, usually a plus one effect when they're banished as well. So that has even crazier synergy there. We've got Eldritch in the game now. That's a pretty insane engine to be able to play with grass. Like there's definitely some crazy things. And the fact they're totally unbanned is kind of nuts. Not that I think, like, I don't know if anybody's playing three snow anyway, but like one or two. And then grass, like not being at one or two is crazy. I mean, I guess you want to play it in a 60 card deck. So consistency wise, it's not the craziest thing, but it's it's such a high roll card. If you if this resolves, like the duel's probably over. Um, and that's that's just insane to think about. But I like grass decks. I think the, the concept behind them is crazy. We just have too many good things with it. Like I wish this could exist, um, but I definitely am fearful that like there's just too much good graveyard stuff at this point in time all right moving on miscellaneousaurus just want to note this uh over after i believe is at two in this format but that's the only hit the dinos whereas we have missed to one and that seems to be a pretty good check to keep dinos from being busted so that's definitely something to note master plan uh spirals are like almost fully off the list except for quick fix being at one i believe that's crazy i mean that's about the same as it was when when spirals were like literally meta at, at the beginning of 2020 uh like two years ago and yeah that's that's scary that's really scary uh spiral is known for being one of the most obnoxious decks ever it just abuses like kind of like Luna Lake tiger just a non once per turn card that you just keep looping and looping and looping getting a search getting a search getting a search and that sucks so definitely something to keep an eye on how good spiral is in this format but we might have to hit them again nick them again from being too stupid Distrudo's in here. Uh, this card's just generically so crazy. It's a dragon, which helps dragon link decks. It is a tuner. It's another card that's crazy in grass decks, right? You mill this, like you are, you're cracked because you make any any um, seven and you're off to the races. Um, this card's definitely something to keep an eye on. It's a tuner, facilitates Hulk, all that stuff. So just keep an eye on him. He, he might be generically too good. That's the difference between him and like Jet Synchron and and uh glow bulb is like they kind of happen once he happens once but then also gets you into a uh an easier seven it's just like insane this card's so crazy to me and it summons from hand as well which makes it even more versatile and the level modulation gives it just so much more utility than the other two all right next up is block dragon this may be the number one card i want to see banned on this list period um I hated Adam Emancipator Block Dragon. Dueling against that deck was crazy. It's just, when you have combo decks, the, the whole thing with combo and control is supposed to be that like, combo decks have the higher ceiling, but like, if they can't get through with their combo, then they don't really get going, right? Well, the problem is with Block Dragon around for Adam Emancipator, that deck is just able to grind better than like, almost any deck in the game, like straight up. Or maybe not grind, but like, your follow-up is like so insane. At least your grind for two or three turns is like so powerful that like you would never expect somebody to have enough interruptions to stop you one turn and then whatever the follow-up is because the next follow-up, you're gonna need another three interruptions at least to stop them. And that's like so powerful to me. This is like one of, if not the most powerful like combo deck we've ever seen in a format. Definitely want this card banned. This is my personal pick for like the one card I want banned. Ben 10, um, just worth noting, Drytron's around. Ben 10's not hit at all anymore, so it's essentially just full power Drytron. Keep an eye on it. If it's that bad, like, we can hit it, but, like, you know, just keep an eye on it. Upstart. Another one that kind of goes with, like, Max C. Like, 
and also the fact that we're not side decking because we're not side decking in this in this game uh upstart is crazy because how many people are going to be willing to play droll in their main deck to punish upstart when like if they play a deck that max d isn't great against like it's literally just dead and you're just losing duels because you're drawing dead dead droll so this card is so free and it like it you know simplifies deck building where people if they're like oh i have three open slots in my deck what i play crazy three of nah let's just play upstart and just have the most consistency anybody's ever seen <laughs> yeah smoke grenade uh of the thief um this one i don't think is so huge because uh phoenix blade is banned in this format so uh infernoble would have been the big worry of like the hand rip situation with smoke grenade but uh because phoenix blade is banned uh they're hit in a whole other way where like for them to resolve the smoke grenade of the thief play they're gonna end on like they're just not gonna end on anything like too crazy and like no follow-up or like very limited follow-up because they're not getting those free discards off of the phoenix blade but definitely worth noting um still could come up as a thing chicken game is legal uh this is a weird one i never got to play with chicken game it seems kind of crazy but um i don't know it's a weird it's a weird card i don't even know how, how i fully feel about it but um something to keep an eye on if it'll be worth uh banning kaiser coliseum this should have never come off uh we banned mystic mine but then we took this off so like what's really the difference i guess mystic mine uh, negates your stuff whereas this guy just says you just can't have stuff still sucks hopefully this gets banned tanky i threw tanky on here because it's, it's fully legal and tri brigade as well as leerless like completely legal in this in this game so uh we'll have to keep an eye on bird up uh to see like if we get what kind of hits we get later down the line but this could definitely be a thing like we have road at one maybe this should just be a one it's the same thing but better because it stays on the field so if you have any cards that like need like get rid of a card off the field to do something you have extra synergy so yeah and Vandy's Emptiness. Uh, this card's off. It's only a one-off, but it does have that that essence of like uh, Imperial Order type stuff, Skill Drain type stuff. Those just like insane one-off trap cards that if you draw, it just wins you the duel. Like as long as you're, as soon as you get just slightly up and up and uh, get the upper hand in a duel, you just resolve this and like the duel's over. So yeah, we'll see. It's probably fine, but it's just uh, it's another like card like IO. Next up is Deng Wong. This is off the list. I don't think this is that big of a deal right now. Just need to keep an eye on it because we will get Sword Soul eventually in this game, I believe. And when we do, that's when this card definitely needs to be like, mm, I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, Rongo. This was a really dumb card. It was. It's kind of like a tower that's like almost impossible to out. And if you make it with enough cards, uh, your enough materials, your opponent just straight up cannot normal or special summon. So just says your opponent can't play. Tomahawk. This card's crazy. It's just a generic rank seven and it just summons, it fills up every single zone on your field with um, tokens. Wind level six, 2000 attack tokens. And it just makes you do like crazy link plays. Um, I don't know how crazy it is now. I mean, sevens are not, have never, we've never had the best engines to make sevens aside from like uh, dragon rulers, which are all banned except for one. Um, but it's still something to be like, that card's crazy. Maybe we just shouldn't even mess around with it. Calamities. This is another one that goes right side by side with probably Block Dragon for me. Uh, as far as just like cards that just say like you don't get to play or just like too overwhelming. Um, and Block Dragon doesn't say you can't play, but it helps you. It helps that deck make boards that are just like insane. Uh, but Calamity is like so stupid. Dinos can make it now and Dinos have three Misk again. Um, and of course, Virtual World becomes crazy again with this. Even at one, like when it was at two, it was even more crazy. But even at one, it's just like stupid. It's like you either have the response to this or you lose the game immediately on its on its resolution. We don't want that. Prank kids, prank kids are full power. Um, and I assume we'll get the brave token engine pretty soon here uh, in the game. And when we do, that deck becomes crazy, especially at full power. So I think it kind of needs a check because it'll still be good. <laughs> even if even if Meow Meow goes to one, even if Doodle goes to one, whatever it is, uh, they still will have uh, like crazy plays with uh, the brave token engine so definitely some a deck that might need checking later on electromite we're getting the new pendulum monster anyway in a couple months so it makes me think like why even have this be legal like because then nobody's going to want to play the other one whatever maybe i'll get banned and then we'll get the new one um their pendulum seem to have, have some other cards legal as well that they didn't before so that's definitely something um they might be crazy right now uh, the last card i have here is union carrier we've seen what this card is uh it's crazy just pulling like so many different cards out of your deck just being able to access stuff 
that like shouldn't be searchable is just insane. And also there's other things, other situations like Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, just equipping that card is so dumb. It says you can't summon from the extra deck, locking you out of like probably the most important thing that exists in Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays is the extra deck, uh, competitively speaking, like ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. That cannot be a thing uh, that locks you out of like the most important thing in Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> competitively. But yeah, that's pretty much it. These are the big cards I'm looking at here. There might be some other things you could argue like Thunder Dragon Colossus could be something, but it's only at one and they have other hits to that engine as well. So it is hindered to an, to a certain extent. So I think that's fair enough. Um, I'm okay with that, but yeah, that's what we're looking at here. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, is there anything else that you think like probably should be looked at either maybe going on the list or maybe even coming off other stuff that you're like, why is this here? Why, if we're gonna be super loose with the ban list, why not pull this stuff off too? There definitely are stuff for that. I focused more on putting stuff on the ban list right now, um, but we can take a look at that stuff later. So that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Master Duel stuff as well as TCG content down the line. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.